the other thing that happens actually, I think, when you become single is occasionally you go, shall we say, looking for love in the in the wrong places. Um, and I live in Leeds, and, and Leeds is a big big city. So if you know where to go of an evening, say, you know, of a night in the right streets, you can find kind of whatever you want to find, right? And <laughs> I'm ashamed to say that three, four months ago, one night I was feeling quite lonely, so I went out to a particular area of Leeds and uh, walked around a little bit and <laughs> a woman approached me and she said, oh, hi, are you looking for business? And I said, yeah. I said, get off my fucking patch. The other thing that happens as well is you get on dating apps, don't you? Don't you? You get on dating apps, right? This is it, yeah? Um, and I thought, you know, I might be all right at that. I might not be too bad. I do a bit of comedy. I can probably write something. You have to write the bios, don't you? Okay, yeah? So I, if, I, if it's all right, I want to share with you some of the Tinder bios that I wrote, okay? I'm just going to see. Now, I thought I'd be okay. I think, as it turns out, um, probably wasn't quite as good as I thought I might be. Um, you can tell me, see what, you, see what you think. I thought I'd try and be quite funny, and I think it kind of came off perhaps a little bit more creepy. Um, <laughs> so this is the first one I went for. I went for um, John, 38. 38, by the way, that's fucking old to be on. Do you know I know I'm old? It's for Christmas this year, I got chutney. <laughs> and I was fucking pleased about it. <laughs> uh, first Tinder by then. John, 38, new to this, so be gentle. By the way, if this fucks up, you can use this, son, all right? Um, <laughs> genuine, kind, easygoing, funny. Mm. I know you'll worry about it, ladies, but I promise I am not, repeat, not a serial killer. <laughs> you have to have killed three people to get that badge. <laughs> I'm only on two. Uh, <laughs> likes. Wearing your skin as my skin. <laughs> Dislikes people who refuse to get in my van. Uh, so that, <laughs> that one didn't go quite as well as I'd hoped. So I went for another one. thought I'd try and be a little bit more heartfelt. Uh, see how we got on. So I went for John, 38, divorced, looking for love. Maybe more. I don't know what that means. Um... <laughs> Likes falling asleep in the arms of another. Aww. Meeting future in-laws who already feel like family. Ah, yeah, not bad, is it? Dislikes people who don't enjoy the simple things in life. Like long rides in my van. <laughs> <laughs> to a disused quarry. Um, <laughs> In, in the end, I thought, I'm just going to have to be entirely honest. Uh, and so I went for Sebastian 28, airline pilot. Um, so basically what I realized is I'm shit at this. Uh, and so I looked around for people in my life that I could find inspiration from. And there's a couple I know called Grant and Victoria who I work with. And they actually have an AGM of their relationship every year. This is a true story, okay? So they will have an annual general meeting every January about the things they want to do in that year, review their previous life, and, and they take that sort of approach. So I thought, I'm going to take more of a business approach to my being single, okay, and see how that works. So I appointed myself as chairman and chief executive of Holton's Independent Traders, okay? <laughs> um, and then what I'd like to do is actually share with you, for me, the presentation that I did at the AGM uh, when I was uh, presenting on my own life. I need a volunteer for this, actually. Would you? Who wants to be a volunteer? Would you be a volunteer, sir? Come on up here. That's just uh, If you can just grab here, okay? What, what's your name? It's not about you, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, right, Chris, give me a second, sorry. No, this is Chris, thank you very much, Chris. Right, I'm just going to share with you just a, a few graphs here uh, that I've prepared. I'm going to start you with a really simple one. Chris, if you can just sort of rotate this so people can see around here. So this is a really simple graph, okay? This is a graph of relationships. Um, so this is 2017-2018 review of my life, basically. Um, we can see all the way through 2017, and actually, 
almost to, to half year, uh, certainly through Q1 uh, of 2018, <laughs> I was tracking pretty healthily at one relationship, okay? <laughs> what happened in May, uh, when my girlfriend left, is there was quite a significant drop-off in the number of relationships <laughs> that I was... My friends described it as a 100% drop-off uh, in the number of relationships I was part of. The second graph I just want to share with you is a graph of tears. Uh, <laughs> graph here goes from, uh, again, always the same along the bottom, 2017, 2018, and then it goes from naught to lots. 2017, 2017, I was doing fine. There was some tears here when I realised that my beloved Leeds United weren't going to make the playoffs. Um, I watched a particularly poignant documentary on some chained up Russian bears. Had a bit of a, <laughs> bit of a weep. But then we get the real spikes here. This is when my girlfriend left me. And this one, even bigger, uh, that was when England got knocked out of the semi-finals of the World Cup. So, um... Went pretty, pretty bad. The, f the final graph that I want to share with you is a graph of sex. Um, okay, this might look familiar to you. Um, again, we've got, this goes from naught to lots. This, this here has sort of got some. There's a bit of a peak there, went on holiday. This drops down here because I had actually quite a serious hip injury. Um, kind of goes up and down a little bit. That's where uh, she went travelling in South America and never, never came back. Um, <laughs> but that's where I visited her in Argentina. And this is where we had the inevitable breakup sex. The brighter amongst you will have realised there's two lines on this graph. Um, that's sex with my girlfriend. That's sex with myself. Uh, <laughs> never at zero. Um, <laughs> And you can kind of see how that's tracking. And all the trends are actually that through into 2019, that that trend is set to continue. Uh, <laughs> so, when you look, basically when you take into account all of these things, okay, all, of these, all these measures, which I like to call JPIs, John Performance Indicators, um, <laughs> I am overall 67% down on happiness year on year. Okay? Um, so I thought, well, I had to do something. And the only thing I could do when you're chairman and chief executive of your own life and it's going that badly is that you have to sack yourself. <laughs> and I thought, right, well, who can take my life to the next level and make it a lot better? And I went for this guy, <laughs> which is Sebastian, 28 airline pilot. 